Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am very excited today to be doing a collaboration with uh, Kathleen Osmore of Cause Creations Art. Um, she is a fellow instructor at the Fluid Art Experience, which will be happening in uh, Richardson, Texas, part of uh, the Dallas suburbs, um, on November 17th to the 19th. And she and I are going to trade um, our techniques this week. So I am doing a landscape swipe, which is one of the classes that she'll be teaching. And I hear that she is doing my Nautilus pour. I'm very excited to see what she comes up with and I'm very excited to do this landscape swipe. So um, let me walk you through this, all of this that I've got here on the, on the um, canvas. Um, I have taped um, the back of my canvas and pre-painted the sides. I've got it up on push pins also. Um, I pre-painted the sides because these are all very fluid paints and as it rolls over the edges sometimes the canvas can show through. Um, so I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. Um, I'm doing a landscape swipe. So this uh, upper part uh, which is taking up you know two-thirds of the canvas is going to be the sky and then this part down here the darker part will be the ocean. So for my ocean I have mixed up some golden heavy body turquoise thalo and then I've mixed in a little bit of DecoArt Dazzling Metallics in teal to give it a really nice beautiful glimmer. So that should be really nice. Um, also part of my ocean is this uh, very light blue color which is a mix of Arteza Pearl um, Glacier Blue Sorry. and um, pearl turquoise. Uh, so I mixed those two together. I didn't want it quite this dark and I didn't want it quite this light. So I mixed them together to get something kind of in between. And this is, um, this is this little piggy in sea glass. Um, and then I have some cell activator here. This is mixed three parts Australian flow, flow trial to one part Amsterdam titanium white. Um, and then my sky colors, I have Amsterdam sky blue light. I have DecoArt pewter metallics. This silver is the lightest silver I can find and it's called Sennelier abstract iridescent silver. I really love that color. Uh, this is um, Amsterdam's grayish blue. And then I have some, some cloud mix. This is equal parts Amsterdam titanium white and DecoArt um, satin enamel white. Um, all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and a little squirt of GAC 800 and then distilled water to thin them down. And I will use the sky blue light here to show you what the consistency is. So this is a very thin consistency. It leaves just a slight, let's get that a little closer. Leaves just a little slight mound before it disappears. So a little thicker than a Dutch pour, but definitely thinner than you would use, or I would use for a uh, rain pour normally. <laughs> um, and my bottom part here where the ocean is, uh, the bottom part for you, top part for me. This is going to, I'm going to be swiping in this area. This, the sky, I'm going to do flip cups. Not sure if I'm going to swipe that area or not, but I'm definitely going to be swiping these colors into that base. So that's the first thing I'm, actually the first thing I'm going to do, now when I think about it, is layer my flip cups. And let's not get these mixed up. Keep myself organized, keep all of my sky colors together so I don't lose one or miss one. And let's go ahead and layer our flip cups and then we'll put our base coat down on this area. So I'm going to start with half of each of these nine ounce cups with the sky blue light. The same in both. There we go. And then I'm going to dirty pour some of these other colors into it. So I'm going to hold my cup up high 
and let it pierce the layer and soak right in. So that is the silver going in to both. Do the grayish blue. Again, pouring from up high. And then I'm gonna take it easy on the pewter because it does tend to take over. So just a, a little dollop of it in each. I don't want my sky to be too dark. And then I'm gonna put a nice healthy layer of my cloud mix in each. There we go. So those are ready to go. I can set all of those aside. And then we can put down our base coat for this area. One of the, uh, the reason I have this tape line down here is because one of the hardest things for me with this technique is getting a straight horizon line. I really like it when it's straight and not wobbly. So um, I'm attempting this. If it doesn't work out, I can always use a brush to, to straighten that line out. But I figured I would give it a try and get it right the first time.
So here's the wet result of my landscape swipe, a la Kathleen Osmore of Cause Creations. I'm pretty happy with this. This turned out almost exactly how I had it pictured in my mind. Um, I love the drama of the sky. I think it's really cool. I got some great cells. Thank you, Pewter. <laughs> and that cloud mix too, really mixed with everything. Oh, sorry, going a little fast. It's not focusing. There we go. Um, some really interesting motion to the sky. Um, some darkness in the clouds, but some blue sky peeking through in various areas. I like that a lot. And then that sea glass and the Arteza pearls made beautiful shading in amongst that dark turquoise. And that dark turquoise is going to dry even darker than it is. Um, the wave lines that I've put in here with the cloud mix, I love the way that it softens up. Let's get that. There we go. Some really great texture from the swiping with the cell activator. I love that too. That turned out really cool. Yes, so if you want to learn this technique, you should go to the Fluid Art Experience and take a class from Kathleen Osmore. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Kathleen, for all of the uh, encouragement and assistance and you know, just being a wonderful person. Um, I like to call her my fairy art mother. <laughs> um, but thank you again, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And come paint with me at the Fluid Art Experience in November 17th to 19th in Richardson, Texas. Thanks a lot and have a great day. So here is the dry result, and I have to say, I think this is one of my best swipes ever. It's a very simple swipe. I just um, uh, layered some colors in, in uh, rows across the bottom um, and then blended them by doing the swipes, but the textures it created and uh, the softness of it is gorgeous. I love this area here where I swiped with the cell activator and the cells go all the way across. So cool. That uh, TLP, I've got the light shining on it here. I, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up in the video, but that TLP sea glass is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Um, and the Arteza pearls too, they're really beautiful. Uh, like this line right here is the uh, Arteza pearl and this is the sea glass. It's a subtle little difference, but I love it. And I wanted the, um, the ocean to look like it had um, uh, some waves and ripples and everything and, and, uh, and strong enough to create some crashing waves, but I didn't want it to look too turbulent. So I only added in the three lines of the crashing waves. Um, but I'm look at the blending down here. It's so beautiful. <laughs> look at that. And the shadow underneath that... Uh, crashing wave really gives it depth. So great. I love that. It turned out so good. Yeah, I like that. And okay, I obsessed a lot about that horizon line. And I could go in and straighten that out with a paintbrush. But I actually, I, it has grown on me. <laughs> it looks like maybe um, there's some land in the distance here kind of a, a shadow line uh, of some land in the distance. And I'm super happy with the sky also, the uh, the flip cup sky. The uh, Since everything here was very horizontal, I wanted something with some motion. So that big swoop up here, um, I just love the contrast of that with the, the, the wave ripples at the bottom. And this section over here, Looks like everything is swirling and dark. Maybe storm clouds are coming in. I am super happy. I hope um, Kathleen approves and um, I hope you guys like it too. Thank you very much. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime.